Hi guys, um, I know it's been forever since I posted another video as usual, but uh, hopefully this time it's something proper exciting. So uh, I'm going to introduce today a brand new uh, light gun ecosystem um, open fire, which um, me and some other uh, awesome uh, devs and light gun creators have been working on. Uh, for the past while and it is going to be something really cool so um, let's get into it uh, but just before I do uh, just for anyone that's kind of just stumbled along here and uh, doesn't know who I am uh, my name's Sam I'm the creator of the Samco light gun um, and I'm now one currently one of the devs working on this new uh, open fire project uh, so open fire it's uh, basically it's a uh, collaboration between me and a bunch of other guys in the uh, open source slash light gun community that um yeah basically just wanted to improve the original samco firmware um rebuild it for pi pico or any rp2040 microcontroller really and um just wanted to turn it into something really awesome and hopefully um some of the best light gun code around I'm uh, pretty sure that this will be the first community-driven, fully open-source light gun uh, system that isn't uh, just a fork or straight-up renamed clone of Mind Pros or That One Songs code. Um, so I think something that in itself is um, something pretty cool. Um, so what have we got and um, where are we at? Uh, well, you might have seen Pros code already. This came out um, a few years ago now. So he's already um, increased precision, uh, runs faster with less glitches, ability to change the camera sensitivity, much better button to bouncing and handling. And then uh, that one song jumped on board and um, added a whole ton of stuff as well. So he's added uh, rumble and recall support, drag and drop installation, dual core support, gamepad support, um, RGB and MAME hooker support, and he's also created a really cool um, GUI, which will um, help with um, button selection and calibration. And uh, yeah, that's really neat. Um, that, so those are just the main ones, but um, yeah, there's a whole lot of other stuff. So I'll link both their GitHub's uh, GitHub's below uh, if you want to see the full list of all the changes they've implemented so far. But uh, since then, we've been um, starting to implement some other really cool things like uh, perspective correction. So you get uh, perfect accuracy um, when you're not standing directly in front of the screen, um, which almost as a byproduct has actually increased the accuracy overall itself. So it's super accurate now. Um, and we're also in the process of adding um, wireless Bluetooth support, um, which is really neat. And also um, different uh, IR layouts, so a square layout and a diamond layout. Uh, also, calibration is um, super simple now, so it's just a six-shot system. So you shoot uh, center screen, top screen, bottom, left, right, center again, and you're fully calibrated. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool too. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, that's all the main stuff. We're doing like um, general code tweaks and stuff like that, but um, yeah, that's all the all the big ones. Um, I've concentrated mainly on the code side of things here, but uh, we've got some other guys on the team working on really sleek um, 3D printed shell designs. They're doing instructions, custom PCBs, um, yeah, all the all this other stuff. So you can build your own um, open source light gun from the ground up, basically. Um, this has been a fairly long process and we've still got a wee bit to do, but um, hopefully it won't be too far away from launching. So um, keep an eye out here because I'll be putting a video up um, with all the links, documentation, build guide, all that kind of stuff uh, when we're ready to go. Um, also, for anyone that's interested, um, the firmware will work on um, both the Samco boards um, you just got to replace the uh, Itsy Bitsy um, with a RP2040 Itsy Bitsy. Um, and I've still got those on my eBay if anyone wants to jump in and grab one of those. Um, and I will be also um, adding a version that has Bluetooth support on there as well. Um, but yeah, you don't necessarily have to grab one of those because there'll be build guides from um, the other guys as well. So 
you could pretty much put one of these in anything you want um yeah so that's it for now i hope i'm getting some of you guys pretty excited about this uh this new firmware and gui um so yeah spread the word let people know um like and subscribe if you want to keep up to date with everything um that's it for now so as usual thanks for watching cheers guys bye